Hey guys, it's Tuesday, and I have been so busy, uh, I haven't been able to vlog this week. There's quite a few things I wanted to vlog about, but I just didn't have a chance to get out or do anything for that matter uh, with work, trad geeks, my family, uh, hockey, and then things just on the farm, goats, chickens, new baby coming. And then obviously uh, the new tab launch has kept me extremely busy. So I've been pushing out orders as fast as I can. If you guys placed an order and you're waiting on it, I'm sorry for the delay. We're just getting an abnormal amount of people uh, ordering them. So I have probably 22 or 23 orders to catch up on yet. And that's out of a lot. So happy about that really excited to uh, get these out to you they're a really cool tab uh, carbon fiber cordovan leather and then it has uh, some suede on the back side to keep it really soft on your hand everybody's really liking them they have a, a fit in your hand that I kind of developed based off of an old tab that I've had for six or seven years I'm sure you guys heard me talk about it in the past and I I loved that tab, could never find anything that felt as comfortable as it. So I kind of built it off that premise. We're having a two finger, so it's just two under, not split finger. I've had some guys message me saying is, is two finger uh, split finger, and no, it's two under. It's actually two under the, the knock. Um, we're also doing a, listen, a listener uh, submitted question type of thing, and Mark will probably answer those questions because I can honestly say I haven't had a chance to even look at them. But, as Matt Davis would say, any hoodles, I am on my way to work. I am going to try to vlog today at work about a few things for you guys as far as exercises go to help train your lower trap uh, to be engaged. So I've had a lot of questions since we've had that podcast with Tom Clum Sr. about how do I engage that low back, how do I make that muscle stronger, make it more functional, and uh, some stretches as well to prevent injury and whatnot. So today at work I'm going to try to throw something together for you guys so that you have something to go off of and I'll probably put it on this blog but I'll probably also do a blog post about it so you guys can check back whenever you want on the website and there'll be information there so that's about it I'm gonna get to work have a busy day my wife is scheduled for uh, an induction on Thursday because our baby is a breach uh, they they flipped her a few times and I've done what I can with my profession to try to get her to move but for whatever reason she just does not want to cooperate so Thursday we'll be having a baby girl God willing and um, that'll be exciting so hopefully we get this vlog out to you Wednesday which is tomorrow if not we'll get it out to you sometime we're, uh, we're in a busy portion of the trad geek life I guess you could say or just everyday life and we hit these these parts we we can bump out content quite often and, and really put it out but then other times we get bombarded with everyday life and and things that are just frankly more important so we're going to try our best to keep up with the content keep you guys happy and uh stay safe shoot straight all right guys i'm in my office and i'm between patients here so i'm going to try to show you some exercises you can do to one, stretch your low trap and to increase the strength in it since it's oftentimes inhibited due to what we do on a regular basis. So put my camera down here, hopefully that'll do it. So the first one to kind of stretch it out, you wanna grab arms just like this, lean slightly forward and tuck your chin. If you let your arms kind of raise up as you tuck your chin, that's going to stretch your low trap and uh, medial trap. So those are kind of nice to do right before you uh, start shooting your bow. Some quick things that I do 
uh, on a regular basis just trying to keep the, the knots and trigger points from occurring in a low trap because I shoot quite often. So that's the one stretch for that. I always try to stretch out my trap or my triceps. So I stretch out my triceps before I shoot as well. And then the big exercise is called, a, it's basically a Y exercise. So you get thumbs up into a Y position. And when you get to the very top, you'll notice your back wanting to extend. So when you get to the very top, you just want to depress the scapula. So you're not bringing your elbows down. They're completely locked out, and it's just simply that motion. You can do a few there, you can do a few from out here too. This is engaging more middle trap, but that lower trap is what's important. So when you're at full draw, you can do the transition to hold motion, which is bringing the scapula down and back. So if you want to be able to feel if you're doing that correctly, you simply put your hand up right here on the lower inferior angle of the scapula, get to your anchor point, and then contract that lower trap. So that's a good way to tell if you're engaging the low back. Another thing I do is I take my bow, which I think I have one over here, an old classic Indian archery bow that a patient gave to me but uh, you can take your your shoulder and stretch it out with your bow so you take your arm up as far as you can and kind of give it over pressure bring it in front of your chest pressure bring it back behind pull it through with your bow and just kind of take it through all its ranges of motion, stretching that shoulder capsule out before you shoot. Those are some other ones. Once you get more advanced and you feel that your lower trap is really being engaged, you know, we generally either have desk jobs or, or sitting a lot and we, we have rounded shoulders. And when that happens, the lower trap is stretched and we get a lot of impingement under the, um, the front of the scapula basically it pinches off your bicipital tendon and all that and that's when we're getting shoulder impingement we need to engage that low trap to get back into extension and in good posture which will prevent a lot of injuries in the future so that's why one of the reasons why it's important to keep that trap in good shape when we're shooting our bows or just for daily life so once you advance to that I'm going to throw the camera over here and I'll show you another exercise that we can do. Set that up right there and hopefully you can see it. What I like to do is straight arm dips. So this is kind of hard to do in the field right before you shoot, but that should work. You basically have straight arms and you dip down and back up. Great workout, great exercise to engage those lower traps. Uh, that's kind of a quick rundown of what I do before I shoot, minus the straight arm dips. I try to do that when I'm working out or whatever and add some weight to me. But you can do pull-ups, uh, lat rows, all kinds of different ways to engage that lower trap, but I try to do it with non-weight bearing, basically just to really focus on that motion to engage that lower trap. Um, hopefully that helps some of you. If you guys have any other questions, shoot me some messages and I will try to, uh, try to clarify some of that if you don't understand it. All right guys, we'll see ya. What's up guys? It's Tuesday morning, taking squirt to school and then I'm headed to work. Got all my fun stuff ready to go. And I uh, haven't vlogged from the car for a long time. I feel like I've been a safe driver, so I might do that today. But starting to feel like spring. 
It's a little cold. It snowed Monday night, or Sunday night. Ready to go. Well, I figured I'd take a little bit of time and talk about what my Western hunting plans were going to be this fall and then what they are actually turning into. Um, yesterday I went to apply for uh, my preference points in Colorado for yet another year of no hunting out west. So Lisa and I, we plan financially pretty much together 100%. And with her being in school, uh, as we looked at our budget out the next six months or so, uh, just not something that, um, that I'm going to do this year. Even a cheaper do-it-yourself hunt, which is how we hunt. We kind of hunt as cheap as possible. I just didn't feel like stretching myself out like that financially this year uh, with her being in school. So next year she'll be in the workforce um, she'll, she has about another year before she graduates a year and a couple months so we're looking forward to that um, but this will be another year that I don't have the opportunity to go out and that's a bummer but I'll be able to kind of focus a little bit heftier on uh, the whitetail woods and living in the new house being able to hunt closer to home pretty stoked on that uh, really excited to get trail cameras running over the summer see what's out there um, discover some new areas and go from there <laughs> Juliet's talking um, but I'm really I'm really hoping to put together uh, kind of a remake not a remake but just kind of do kind of the same philosophy that I had in 2015 uh, and just capture a little bit from each day and put together a, a little short film on that this fall so I'll be able to actually dedicate more time more effort to just that and uh, we'll go from there good morning guys it's after work let's see what time it is 7 12 Juliet's taking a bath and Lisa's hanging out with her so I'm gonna get just a quick little hike in here So I'm hiking and I look down and uh, found one of my arrows from archery season and I shot at a black squirrel that was halfway up a tree and that arrow is right here. Also, if you've watched this vlog the whole way through to the end, that's awesome. We're going to be doing a Q&A, um, kind of an Ask Us Anything section to an upcoming vlog. Kevin and Lindsay are going to have a kid. Little baby girls coming Thursday. They're going to induce labor, I believe. So say a prayer for them. We're really, really stoked on uh, meeting Cora here within the next week or so.